it with music, beautiful music. Hello, I'm Fred Miller, and this is yet another lecture in song. A little background, I was born in Albuquerque, and... Uh, Luckily, I had this wonderful classical piano teacher who grounded me in Bach, Beethoven, and Brahms from the age of seven. And then right on my 13th birthday, the Beatles arrived, and that changed my musical focus. I continued with the classics as well, but now I was really a follower of the top 40. And that went on through my my late teens. I, I uh, the Summer after graduating from high school, I hitchhiked with a friend from New Mexico to the Woodstock Festival. I'm even in the poster. I went to college very briefly, got a VW bug, then traveled all over the country, finally settled in Greenwich Village, and somewhere along the line somebody gave me an album of Ella Fitzgerald singing Cole Porter. And here I am. Gershwin, Porter, Kern, Rogers, Berlin, Fred Astaire, Judy Garland, Ethel Merman, Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby, the whole wonderful world of American popular song. I was determined that was going to be my musical life. Um, I settle on the idea of a lecture and song. Each program would be some great performer or some aspect of American popular song. I started with six programs, but then it kept growing and growing. And to date now, there are 75 different lectures and song, each one described in detail at fredmillermusic.com. The program here, not a songwriter, not a holiday, not geography, not a novelty, but a performer and a performer like no other. Frances Ethel Gum, better known as Judy Garland. She was the ultimate show business legend, uh, but where does the mythical legend begin and the star-crossed person end? It was an age crowded with storied careers and, and strange lives, but this was a life and a career like no other. She lived it and told us all about it all along her very bumpy way along the, her, own very, her own very strange yellow brick road. I was born in a trunk in the Princess Theater in Pocatello, Idaho. It was during a matinee on Friday, and they used a makeup towel for my tidy. When I first saw the light, it was pink and amber coming from the footlights on the stage. When my dad carried me out there to say hello, they tell me that I stopped the show. Well, that would be the first of a thousand and one times she would do that. She began life in Grand Rapids, Minnesota, June 10th, 1922. Her parents were Frank and Ethel Gum, uh, sort of frustrated vaudevillians. He was from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. She was from Michigami, Michigan. You can't get more Heartland America than that. They had met in 1912. He had proposed and then proceeded to simply disappear.